It's time, folks. It's time to get back on the weight loss wagon. For those of you who follow my budgeting channel, you know that I actually pay for Weight Watchers every month. And I go, I've mentioned, I actually go to Weight Watchers every Saturday morning and attend a meeting. And I've never stopped that. Even with doing Elizabeth Benton's program, I never stopped going to Weight Watchers. And the reason is, I love the group I go to. The community is amazing and my leader is fantastic and it's just super motivating no matter what plan you're doing. So I have been going consistently since years, years I've been going. Um, let me give you a weight loss history of mine. I did a video a long time ago called uh, comparing budgeting and dieting and how they are so similar because truly they are. And I'll link that video up in the eye in the sky. Now, don't judge me. It's from a long time ago. So they are super similar and have so many similarities. And in that video, you see my before pics from, from when I was at pretty much my heaviest. Those pics are me. That's, that's who I was at that point. Ever since I lost the weight, I swore I would never stop going to Weight Watchers meetings because I find that when I stop thinking about my weight is when I start to gain weight. So there are some things that I have to do. I have to get on the scale every couple of days, guaranteed. I'm better off if I get on the scale every day, but if I go for a week or two without getting on the scale, that's when my weight starts to creep up because it's almost symptomatic of me like, not thinking about weight. And unfortunately, I am one of those people that will always have to think about their weight. Even at my thinnest, I will always have to think about my weight. For a long time, I was running five miles a day, four or five days a week. And then I hurt my knee. Well, then I took a brief hiatus because I was just exhausted all the time. I was getting up at like four o'clock in the morning to run and because I didn't have any other time. And I was exhausted, so I took a brief hiatus, and then I did something, and I hurt my knee, and when I tried to go back, it just was excruciating. And I still, I ought to go to the doctor, I don't know. It's the knee I had surgery on, and I think I'm avoiding going to the doctor because I don't want to have to have surgery again, and I have a feeling I need it. They told me when I had surgery about 12 years ago that I'd probably need it again in 10 years, and so I'm sure that's all it is, but I just, I don't want to deal with it right now. Oh, I'm just not running. And I've noticed that I've kind of, I don't know for a lack of a better term, like flabbed up. I, you know, my weight is consistently the same, but it just feels like all my clothes are tighter. My belly is more jiggly. I, after going to Elizabeth Benton, doing her program, after doing the Elizabeth Benton uh, Primal Potential program, I was super hyper-focused and really in tune with like what I would eat and how it made me feel. And then I got promoted. And then I started my new job. And I found I had no time to think about anything other than my new job and getting YouTube videos out. So weight loss kind of took a back seat. It's been almost six weeks since I got promoted. And in those six weeks, I've gained a couple of pounds back that I had lost on the program just from sheer not thinking about the choices I was making. It was like I knew the choices I was making were not the wisest, but at the same time, I didn't even want to deal with it. Much like my knee, I just don't want to deal with it. I've realized that if I continue on this road, I'm going to end up in a place I don't want to be. So this week I am challenging myself. I have been doing Weight Watchers for a long time and I love Weight Watchers and I lose weight when I track, period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I lose weight when I track. So this week I am challenging myself to get on my Weight Watchers app and track every day for one whole week. And I will report back to you in a week and let you know how that worked for me. I'm pretty sure that next week, if I actually do this, which I will, because I'm putting it out in YouTube land, so that means I'm gonna do it, that I will actually be better off. Track, that's it, just track. Because when I track, I make better choices, and when I make better choices, I lose weight. And, well, again, I'm happy where I am right now. I'm, I'm legitimately okay. If I never lost another pound, I would totally be okay with that. You know, I'm not in a place where I'm embarrassed anymore. No, 
I'm, I'm happy. I've been maintaining this weight for about almost two years now. And it's a struggle every day. I notice that if I make the wrong choices, I gain a couple of pounds and then I have to spend a week or two losing them. So, you know, it's a constant struggle. So I don't think this weight loss battle is ever gonna end. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Do you see all of these zits I've got going on on my neck and on my face here? Usually I put concealer on and I have a pretty good concealer, so you can't really see it, but I've got zits everywhere. And I'm quite sure it's coming from the laziness of making like whole foods to eating more processed foods and more carbohydrate, like breads and stuff like that. I, I don't know whether it's breads related or sugar related or processed foods related, but whatever it is, when I make unhealthy choices, my skin looks like this. And I am not genetically blessed in the acne department. If this is the only thing that gets better when I eat healthy and more intelligently, that's all that matters to me right now. Cause this is icky. I can't deal. Mm -mm. Gross. If you are interested in following my journey, click the alert bell, then you will be notified every time I upload. And I'll also put two videos up so you can keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.